they uh, settled uphill on where we are now um, looking for, which was called uh, the Tore. Uh, this Tore is um, was a Celtic sanctuary. It was believed by the Celtic that there that was the navel of uh, the world, and up this hill. Uh, the missionaries uh, built their first church, which was a wooden one. And this is replaced today by the St. Michael's uh, Chapel, this tower there, which I now captured by the video. So this really denotes uh, the first place where, the, where a Christian church stood in England. Uh, the monks lived in the beginning up this uh, hill, but uh, later on they moved down into the valley to this Glastonbury side where they built the Lady Chapel and their monastery and they became very, very rich. So um, they could extend uh, there. But so now we are at uh, the a chalice well. This is actually uh, the Holy Grail. It is a spring uh, that is at uh, the bottom of uh, this uh, holy hill, the Tore. And as you see, the water of this uh, well is uh, red. It's called the Blood Well. And uh, uh, the Christian saying is that uh, this is like Jesus Christ's blood, uh, at like at uh, the uh, Last Supper, which is pouring out there. And the legend says that Josef of Arimathea brought a um, vessel from the Holy Land containing uh, Jesus Christ's uh, blood, and he buried it here uh, at this well. And since then, the um, water of uh, the well is uh, red, but in fact uh, this was a Celtic uh, sanctuary. So the Celtic, uh, they believed that uh, the Torah was the head of uh, the underworld and uh, this water was pouring out of the underworld, so to say uh, it was colored by uh, the blood of uh, the dead. And they also had an oracle here. So this is uh, King Arthur's chamber, as it is uh, denoted today. So that's most likely the place, place where the Celtic um, Druids had their oracle. And to the right, this basin uh, was a point where the pilgrims in, uh, could simply take a bath in the holy water. So uh, this oracle was uh, transferred to a Christian uh, site afterwards. And here we see uh, the water of uh, the well. It's absolutely uh, red. But of course, uh, the red uh, uh, water or the red color is coming from a high uh, content of iron irons in the water. And uh, this water emerged uh, quite deeply uh, from within uh, the Earth's mantle. Uh, it's not surface water, and it's pouring out here for many centuries, maybe many uh, millennia. And at this point, uh, the Druids uh, made their predictions. Uh, this is the so-called lion head well, where even today uh, pilgrims are coming uh, to um, drink from the water. Uh, to the right of uh, this well, there is another well with white water. And uh, what the belief is, is that if you are drinking from both wells, red and white, this uh, should somehow clean your uh, internal uh, body 
and give you m a new life uh, power. So um, they think uh, it's a kind of renewal. And this also ranges back to uh, these Celtic Druid times, because then they said, oh, um, this is like the uh, uh, the outflow of a female and um, male body, which if they are um, mixed together, create new life. So there is uh, very much symbolism in there. So now we are coming to uh, the end of the garden, where actually uh, the big hole with the water pouring out can be found everywhere. There are sitting benches for having a rest and uh, uh, think or do your contemplation. So now we are coming to the well. It's in this uh, basin there. And as you see, I'm trying to film inside. So this means I wanted to show you uh, that there is a motion on the surface of uh, this water. So it's about 15,000 liters per minute which are pouring out there. Of course, there are some plants, water plants, at uh, the fringe of water flows. So if we look down, I'm now, now I'm zooming in, of course there are reflections of these plants, but you see the motion on the surface, so that really shows you uh, the water where it comes to the surface. And this is actually the Holy Grail. So this uh, legend about uh, the uh, vessel with the blood of Jesus Christ uh, was identified in medieval times as something very uh, real. So people believed that such a vessel actually um, existed. Although um, Grail is actually a um, Celtic name, it means um, well, that's the Tore again. Uh, we see uh, that this hill has some terraces in there. That's also of Celtic origin because uh, it is uh, the remains of a three dimensional maze. So uh, the whole site was covered in a maze which symbolizes uh, the underworld because in the maze you get in but never uh, get out uh, like in uh, the underworld and this must have been there for many many uh, hundreds of years as I said uh, the grail uh, denotes a vessel in the Celtic mythology where you get uh, a spiritual outflow. It's an outflow of wisdom which you get of um, religious insight and that's also uh, most probably the background of uh, the legend of Arthur who sent for the Holy Grail in a very desperate military uh, situation. He was looking for advice so um, very probably uh, his messengers uh, came to this oracle asking uh, the druids what to do and the druids they claim they have the holy grail in their uh, sight so they could give advice uh, using this religious symbol which is symbolized of course in, in the well so the, the outflow of the water 
symbolizes the outflow 